You People is a romantic comedy that recently released on Netflix this past weekend. It is directed by Kenya Barris. It's also co-written and produced by Jonah Hill, who also stars in the film with Lauren London, Nia Long, Eddie Murphy, Julia Dreyfus, Louis, Ju Julia Louise Dreyfus, I think that's her name. David Duchovsky or Duchovi, Duchovi? The dude from the X-Files, you know who I'm talking about. This film is about two people, played by Jonah Hill and Lauren London. They're both dreamers. They're both kind of looking for the person that's gonna make their life complete. Lo and behold, they have an encounter in an Uber. They start dating and all of a sudden, they're soulmates and they wanna get married. Now they're engaged. And the thing with being engaged is that the in-laws have to be a part of the process. So it becomes kind of an adventure when he has to meet her parents and she has to meet his parents. Next thing you know, racial tension and overall shenanigans ensue. and that is is you people. Have you ever had a friend that is so awkward with how they deliver their jokes that it makes you laugh even if the joke itself is not funny? Likewise, have you ever been in a conversation where there's people in the conversation that clearly have some tension and there's some awkwardness whenever people are talking so awkward laughs start breaking out because you want to diffuse that tension? Well, if either of those two examples are the type of humor that you find in your life, I feel like you're going to have a really fun time with this movie. That type of humor is the fulcrum around which this entire premise swings. Mix in, obviously, the racial tension, the race relations, the clash of cultures that this movie is supposed to be marketing as its big thing. There is plenty of jokes here for everybody. There's jokes for black people, there's jokes for white people, white Jewish people, there's, there's jokes for everybody on either side of the spectrum. And I'm not gonna lie, there were some funny moments in this movie. I don't know if I ever laughed out loud completely, but I was consistently chuckling throughout the film, at least through the first half of the film. And I do think that's a credit to the screenplay. There's some good shit here. I also love the way that everybody's outfits looked in this movie. Part of that is by design because I think one of the characters is like a fashion designer or something. But either way, the outfits and how everybody was looking, everybody's fit, everybody's drip in this movie, it was just aesthetically pleasing. Another thing that's really good about this movie is the soundtrack. Soundtrack has plenty of bops on it if you're into that kind of thing. It takes place in LA. It's definitely rooted and based around LA culture. And so so there's a lot of LA based tracks on here. I really appreciated that they added Nipsey Hussle to the track. Rest in peace again to the great Nipsey Hussle. I wasn't sure if Lauren was gonna be okay with them putting that in there, or I don't know, maybe it was probably her idea. God bless that woman for putting that type of music onto the soundtrack. Overall, even if you're not a fan of Nipsey, some great shit here, great song selection. The cast is probably my actual favorite thing about this movie. It's a great cast and everybody's giving a good performance. Everybody is really committed to the character that they've chosen to play. It's good to see the director get that kind of buy-in from the performers. Lauren London is a really talented actress. She's really good in this movie. Unfortunately, every time Lauren London was on screen, forgive me, but I had some thoughts. She's so fine, she done pissing me off. How are you that fine? I don't know how else to describe it, but she just looks like some good God wrapped up in some sweet Jesus. I'd probably say Eddie Murphy actually was the funniest person in the movie. For some racial tension, some awkward situations, this movie has that going for you. And aesthetically, it's not a bad looking movie to look at or listen to. So it has all of those things going for it. For every good thing that I liked about this movie, there's something that either left me disappointed or irritated the living hell out of me. It's about people being unintentionally racist, the microaggressions, the things that black people have to deal with all the time. Like, I get that that's where a majority of the humor is going to come from in this movie. That kind of got a little bit tired and exhausting after a while. It feels like the movie didn't really have another fastball up its sleeve in terms of its screenplay. So if those jokes were not hitting, it just feels like a lot of the movie didn't really have anything funny to say. Like halfway through the movie, I actually just stopped laughing at a bunch of stuff. I'm like a weird mix of the people that don't think it's funny and the people that were laughing throughout the movie. So I'm just, I'm kind of stuck on the fence in that way. I also think the screenplay didn't do its characters any justice in regards to how how characters act in certain situations. Not like in a, oh, you have to suspend your disbelief type of way, but more like in a, I just don't feel like this person needed to say that or needed to act like that. I also don't think this is how it would actually go. There's two things in a romantic comedy that you have to get down. You gotta get down the comedy, you gotta get down the romance. I'd say the comedy got a little bit more mileage out of it than even I was expecting. One area that this movie absolutely is a disappointment is the romance. It's unfortunate, but Jonah Hill and Lauren London as a pair, 
I just didn't buy it. It's not to say that they don't have cute moments or that they don't have some chemistry in the movie, for sure. Problem is, there's not enough of them together for me to really feel that emotionally invested in their relationship. It feels like the film is kind of cutting corners and skipping steps when it comes to really building that relationship into something that's worthy of being invested in. I didn't really believe in them or buy in them as a couple, and so it kind of ruined some things in the third act when they do certain things that all romantic comedies do. I'm not gonna spoil it. It has some moments, but overall, I just, I feel like I could have skipped this one. I wouldn't have missed that much. You People was just all right. It wasn't anything special, but it wasn't that bad. Gonna leave this one in the Fortress of Solitude. What did you think about it? What is the comedy that you're most looking forward to in 2023? Go ahead and put that in the comment section down below. Please like and subscribe to the Super Fan Show. And if you like what you see, tell me how you feel. And stay tuned to hear more from the Man of Steel. Peace.